my channel if you're new my name is Mariama so today is Saturday and it's starting to rain outside I just got dressed I'm gonna go ahead and go for a run guys I have not gone for a run in probably a week I had a very heavy strength training about like a week maybe like a week and some days ago and then that took me out because I hadn't strength trained in a while then it took me a while to get started back up with running and then this week my only excuse is that I've just been lazy and I haven't done it I haven't been motivated to do it so I got up this morning at like 6 30 and I don't know why I feel like every time I get up early for myself the kids hear me like we have a small Cape Cod house so literally every step you take someone can hear you like very easily and the kids bedrooms are right downstairs right next to the bathroom so when they hear me turn the water on or whatever boom they're up so my son was the first one to get up and then my daughter but then when it's school days they don't want to get up so like I just I don't get it so they were up with me for a little bit but I'm getting ready now to go for a run I have a little bit of stuff going on um, it's raining out well it's not raining right now but it's getting ready to rain soon so I am going to go for a run I was thinking about just doing a indoor workout but my bicycle downstairs my husband hasn't fixed yet he hasn't gotten to it and I don't feel like going to the gym the YMCA because it'll just take up more time I'll just run before the rain starts I think it's starting in like 20 or 30 minutes so I'll just go outside and do a quick three mile run. But yeah, so I thought I would take you guys along with me today as far as what I get up to and I'll catch up with you guys when I get back. back from my run now and I've already showered. When I came inside, you guys saw that my son was playing with the little train set. While I was gone, my son and my husband were putting together like the Harry Potter train set. So that was out for a while, but they had a smack dab in the middle of the living room and we all kept stepping on it. So that was short lived and it's now put away. But overall, my run actually was pretty good. I did overdress only for like the first mile and a half. It felt very humid for a while. And then the last mile and a half back, the rain did start picking up and I started getting colder. So wearing my hoodie and my long sleeve shirt ended up working out for the last like mile and a half back. And overall I did pretty good for not having ran for like a week and some days so my time was like 10 minutes and 45 seconds so not bad overall but I did want to tell you guys I think I had told you that I was kind of like semi 50 50 training for a half marathon I did decide not to register for the half marathon you guys know I have chronic pain and it's just like I'll do good for a week where I can run good distances and then I'll have several bad days in a row where it's just very hard for me to run, let alone just be able to do like my daily task and be able to work and just do what I need to do in order to just live. So I just decided to forego that and just run at my own pace and just do what's comfortable for me. I don't wanna push myself to run up to 13 miles and then hurt myself because I'm pushing myself because I'm in pain. So I just figured it's it's just not for me right now. Maybe when my pain, if that ever happens, if my pain goes away, then that might be something that I might pursue. 
who knows? But anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys that I will not be doing the half marathon, but I will still be running, obviously. So my plan is to try and run between like three to maybe seven miles, just depending on how I'm feeling and how my pain is. I just want to show you guys something. What is it? I, so I have Super Mario uh -huh. and look what I do with They can see here. it. <laughs> they can see it. That looks good, buddy. Keep going. So it is nine o'clock now. I'm gonna go ahead and get some laundry started so that way I don't get behind this weekend. So I did want to show you guys what the kids desk update looks like. We ended up not actually finishing everything until yesterday. The bulletin board still needed to be put up and we decided to go with two for my daughter's desk because she has a room on her wall. So this is what it looks like. I think it turned out pretty good. We did have this bulletin down with this one on the same line but it just didn't look right especially with whatever this is on here our house is not very level so we decided to just have them shifted up a little bit but i think it looks good overall and we've got the shelves and stuff over here and i think everything is pretty much reachable for her with the exception of this but everything is from ikea if you're thinking of redoing your kid's desk area so this is what elijah's desk area looks like same exact one as harper's except we decided to go with just one bulletin board for him like i said we don't have the space over here for him and then we made sure that his was a bit lower than harper's so that way he could reach it this one over here might be a problem, but I think the three down here should be pretty good. But yeah, this is what it looks like. We've got space over here. He's got his headphones over here. Most of his markers and his crayons are in this drawer right now. And then we've got some dividers in here just to make it easier and organize. And then if you open up the side cabinet over here, there's three shelves that he can keep things organized in. So I think this was a pretty good investment and just a really good organized area for him to be creative. So the desks are pretty much done. The only thing that we have to get, my husband actually went back to Ikea when he went to swap the two bulletin boards for the one large one was, I think, um, not hooks, but they're like magnets kind of, but they've got the hook that can clip on. So when the kids do their art projects and stuff that we've got a way of putting it on the bulletin board, they were supposed to have them in stock on the 27th, but I don't know what happened. They're still not in stock yet. We've checked online. So we'll be checking within the next week and hopefully if they're up that we can order them and then I'll show you guys what that looks like too. So I just got to work. It's like 10.55 now and I definitely meant to get to work a whole lot earlier than I am now. And it's because I thought my daughter would not have her soccer game today. I was watching the weather forecast and it looked like it'd be raining literally all day because of Hurricane Ian. And then I read the wrong email that said that soccer was canceled for today when in fact that was for my son's soccer. So she did have her game today at 9.30. We got to the field and then literally a minute before the game started I realized I was like crap I forgot that I was signed up for snacks today so luckily Aldi is like a minute if not two minutes from where the game was so I doubled there to get snacks and drinks and then as I was getting inside the grocery store it just literally started pouring rain I felt more bad for the kids that were out there playing soccer but luckily the rain did not last for like more than like 10 15 minutes or so so afterwards it was dry for the remainder of the game it was just wet and my shoes are wet right now my feet are wet but that's okay. They actually did pretty good. They won four to zero and the girls played really well. And yeah, so I'm at work now. I went ahead. I did stop because it's like, it's cold guys. It's like 55 degrees and I am definitely in the mood for soup. So I went ahead and stopped at the grocery store, picked up some chicken noodle soup for lunch for today. So I am going to be working hopefully a short day. We'll see how many admissions came in last night, but yeah, I'll catch up with you guys when I'm done work. Guys, I have really been slacking with my water intake and I'm pretty sure I am like 
borderline anemic. And then at work, I'm just constantly, constantly cold. So I rarely drink maybe like four cups of water, which is terrible. And I'm starting to really feel the effects of it on my face because I'm starting to break out more so than usual. So I brought my half gallon container. This is eight cups of water, 64 ounces. So even though it's late in the day, I'm just going to push myself to try and drink this today because like I really need it. So along with my soup, I brought in my soup container over here. And then I've got one of these two good strawberry yogurt and then an apple for today. Finally done work, thank goodness. And it's not raining, so happy about that headed home now and y'all that soup really hit the spot like today was one of those days where I just needed something warm and speaking of warm um, I did not drink all the water that I wanted to I filled up my water bottle and once again I only drank half of it so oops but I think what I'm gonna have to do from now on is warm my water up before I put it into my water jug because when it's cold I literally have no motivation whatsoever to drink anything at all. So I drank about like half of that and then I had yet another cup of coffee because it was warm. So yeah, I think I'm gonna try warming up the water and see if that makes any difference at all. But I'm headed home now. Peyton, my husband was messaging me and just letting me know how the kids were doing. So they've been behaving pretty well today and actually getting along. They've been playing Mario and just kind of keeping themselves busy without annoying each other. So when I get home, I have a little bit of organizing to do. Now that fall is here, I wanna really try and go through the kids' closet, get through some clothes that they're not wearing anymore or they don't like anymore and try and make space for some new ones, so. my son's room I went ahead and changed into one of my comfy flannel shirts so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go through his closet so I'm starting with his room first because I know for sure it's gonna be a whole lot easier and faster going through his clothes than my daughter because she's just picky about stuff so my son is four years old his birthday is May 2nd and for four years old he's pretty tall for the longest time he's been like in the 96 percentile so he's like off the charts as far as his height and he needs new clothes so this week i realized that when he just didn't have anything to wear and i quickly had to wash something at like nine o'clock at night so that way he'd have something for the next day for school so he currently has like a lot of four t's in his closet which are extremely too tight for him he's got a few five t's and I may need to take him inside the store to see if he's truly a 5T or he's a 6X, which I think is also the extra small. So I'm gonna go through his closet. His is gonna be fairly easy because everything is basically hanging up and just take down everything that currently is not fitting him right now. So this is my son's closet. I don't think that I actually showed you guys when I started like redoing his room and cleaning it. But over here is where he had a drawer where we had like socks and underwear and pajamas. So we went ahead and switched his bed and then got rid of the drawer just because he really didn't need it. And because we're promoting independence, I went ahead and purchased this storage system. So up here we have his pajamas. In the middle over here, we've got his underwear and his socks. And then down here, We've got pull-ups right now. He is into the Incredible Hawk and he wears these pull-ups. So this is mostly like a reminder for him. We've noticed that when he wears them, he really does not wet the bed at all overnight. So, but we just have the system over here and then we've got the cocoa butter lotion. So that way he can reach stuff. But yeah, this is what it's looking like right now. And then we've got a a few toys over here on the bottom and then his shirts are hanging up over here. I could not find any place to put these tiles that we got from Amazon, but they play with this a lot. So I figured just putting on the shelf right now is the best way to go. 
And then over here are his pants, which really is the bigger problem of the two. So closet is done pretty much I had to get rid of all of his pants and so over here is the top that I'm going to be taking to kid to kid and I went ahead and kept some few pieces that were sentimental to me as far as tops and bottoms because we're like 50 50 on whether or not we want to eventually in the future try for third so I kept some pieces that I really liked in case we do and we end up having a boy. So I went ahead and finished Elijah's room. His was super easy. I am now in Harper's room and I did ask for her input so that way I'm not getting rid of anything that's sentimental to her or anything that she's going to be asking to wear like a week or two from now. But she's too busy playing Mario Super Odyssey but that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go through her clothes and get rid of stuff that she is not wearing or things that don't fit. She has some really cute pieces that are in her closet for the longest time up until she was like four years old, all she wanted to wear were dresses. So she has a lot of nice dresses in her closet and then she got a lot of really nice pieces from family as well last Christmas. And then in February, she broke her arm and then with having to wear the cast, she just could not get the clothes over the cast at all. So a lot of those are brand new just sitting in the closet and she has not been in the mood to wear dresses whatsoever so i have a lot of nice pieces that i'm hoping that the kid to kid and simon store will take so about that I did have to get rid of a lot of stuff I didn't realize for some reason she had a lot of like four slash five tea clothes in her closet and then in her dresser drawer as well I did end up keeping a few of her six slash six x's because they still do fit so she's kind of borderline she's more like the 50% as far as like the growth and everything so she's more like on the smaller side so I did keep those clothes and maybe if she sees something here and there when I do buy new stuff for her, it's going to be more like seven, eight. So I don't think I have much to really buy for her. Elijah, I know I do. My daughter recently, she cycles through the same like four or five clothes over and over and over again. I have to tell her, I'm like, Harper, you have so many other things to wear. Like look in your closet and find something that you haven't worn two days ago or just last week. So, but I'm heading there now. They're open until like eight o'clock. So I might have to leave the stuff and then maybe come back a different day, depending on how busy they are. And I do have to also stop at the grocery store and pick up a few things for dinner. So hopefully all of this won't take too long. So that would have been a really fast trip had I been actually able to sell stuff to them. The minute I walk in after lugging that big container, the woman tells me, yeah, we're open until eight o'clock, but we're not buying anything this weekend up until Monday. So I didn't bother asking why the, the box I was carrying was heavy. So I just wanted to get out of there. I did go to Giant, which is right next door. So I got $13 back for those gross beef jerky. And then in place of that, I actually only spent $12 with that. I picked up these corn muffins. I was looking for the cornbread 
didn't find them and normally I do make my own cornbread but with working today I just don't have the energy nor the time to make it so corn muffins will have to do today and then whenever I go to Giant I make sure I always look for these booklets here they have really easy family meals in here that well this one right here is a one pot issue but they have tons of different ones out there that come out like every single month so if you're ever in giant definitely try and pick up one of these savories if not you can always go online and you can look at their recipes there so we're actually pairing the corn muffins with this chili dish over here my husband heard my plea for wanting to have something warm on this cold day the table is set we're ready to eat and the kiddos over here are just having a good old time with themselves <laughs> so i'm literally sweating after having dinner we just finished and in the beginning when my husband was first making the dish and I came over and tasted it, it tasted mild. So he thought it was missing something. And unbeknownst to me, he added more cayenne pepper to it. And I asked him how much he added and he said it was two teaspoons. And I think it was maybe one teaspoon too many. For me, I absolutely loved it. I told him it was like a 12 out of 10, but for the kids, it was a little bit on the spicy side, so they weren't really able to handle it. So all they really ate was like four or five bites of it. And then instead they just had a corn muffin, which by the way, even though it's not homemade, the corn muffin was just absolutely delicious and it definitely hit the spot. So there's not that many things that are in the sink that need to be put away, but I want to have a clean kitchen before the night ends. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some cleaning motivation and get the kitchen tidied up for the evening. tidied up and it feels so good knowing that when I wake up tomorrow I don't have anything to clean or worry about so um, now that that's done it's about like 7 15 and the kids typically go to bed around like 8 o'clock or 8 15 yes even on weekends because my kids I know them they get cranky when they don't get their sleep so and usually by like 8 o'clock they're like rubbing their eyes and they're sleepy anyways so but before I get them ready for bed we're gonna play a game they've been asking me or Elijah really has been asking me about this game so I'm gonna go ahead and turn you guys around and show you guys what this game is all about so the game that we're playing tonight is honeybee and my mom got elijah this game either for his birthday or for christmas but the game essentially is like jenga and that it's like a game of chains basically and you have to be very careful with how you pull these little leaves out so that way the bees don't fall down so sting you. exactly so whoever pulls the leaves out and has the least amount of bees at the very end wins the game you guys ready to play yeah. All right. Hey. All right, guys. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. We just finished playing the honeybee game and Harper wants to play her card game. So we're going to play war or some kind of card game of some sort. So, but I hope that you guys enjoy the video. I did not get a chance to really do as much laundry as I wanted to. So that's going to be backed up until tomorrow. But I hope nevertheless, you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys are up to this weekend. Are you guys doing anything fun? Or are you stuck in the house kind of like we were with the rain and everything going on? So, but if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so that way you don't miss a video when I post. And I'll see you guys next time.
summer rain on the 